Hello from Minute Maid Park. Randy McElroy alongside Ari Alexander wrapping up ALDS game number one. What a game it was. What a finish. Astros fans, the sellout here, went home happy after the rally and the walk-off from Jordan Alvarez. Three-run shot, 8-7 win. Yeah, it's hard to talk about it because it just happened in terms of a historical context. This is one of the greatest postseason games of all time. You just don't see those type of comebacks anytime you have a walk-off, which happens so few in the playoffs. This is one of the greatest postseason games of all time. It just happened right in front of us. And I think a lot of credit, and we'll talk about this here, here in a minute, needs to go to the rookies. David Hensley gets hit by a pitch. Jeremy Pena lays off on a slider that typically strikes him out, yeah. singles, and leads to Jordan. Yeah, that was a sharp single, and it led to the uh, the, the pitching change, and then they made the change. Was it Robbie Ray? Yep. That came out, and uh, that did not take long. Jordan took him deep in a victory. So uh, let's talk right now about Verlander's day. I think that surprised a lot of people. Ari, four innings, ten hits, six earned runs. That's the most he's given up in a postseason game since I believe 2006, his rookie year, not the day he scripted out. No, and it, it happens. I, you know, everyone knows I'm a Mets fan. Just last week I was watching Max Scherzer, who that's not supposed to happen to him either, get lit up by the Padres. And so if your fastball command is off and your slider command is off, this is a good lineup. This is a hot lineup that just tagged Alec Manoa and uh, yeah. the, the other Blue Jays pitchers who have a pretty strong pitching staff and – not only that, earlier this year, Verlander's worst start of the season came against the Mariners. Mm -hmm. He had five really good starts against them. He had one bad start. So when he's off on his command, they know what to look for, and they jumped on him. All right, so 81 pitches uh, from Verlander. So now you kind of file that away because he can come back Sunday or can come back Monday if there's a game five because you look at his pitch count, wasn't that bad. He's out of there, and hopefully he can regroup, bounce back. Well, game four is going to be the interesting one because we know that Framber Valdez goes game two. We know Lance McCullers Jr. goes game three. Not only Verlander, Christian Javier pitched in this game. Javier needed to come in because Julio Rodriguez was looking like a future MVP, and Dusty <laughs> brought in Christian Javier, who's one of the team's best strikeout pitchers. It worked. He ended up later giving up the home run to Eugenio Suarez. Can you still start Christian Javier in game four? He went, you know, four or five hitters. Uh, that's going to be interesting to see because he was the fourth best starter of the year. You have Urquidy on the playoff roster. Luis Garcia has been pitching much better. You have him on the playoff roster. Do you still give the shot to Christian Javier knowing he pitched mm -hmm. in game one or you do keep using him like this? Because it's something we talk about on Sports Sunday all the time. He's super valuable in this multi-inning weapon role. Yeah. Do you just keep using him like this so you use him in game two and three and then start someone else in game four? Yeah, we're going to find out. It's on to game two, though. And you know Seattle is down as they have to be right now when you lose a heartbreaker like that. Those are hard to come back from in the postseason. It is, and if you're the underdog, Seattle is sort of like the team of destiny this year. I think in 2017, the Astros are that team. This year, the favorite, if you're not a baseball fan or if you don't have a team that's playing in the postseason, it's them. They haven't been in the postseason for 21 years. They're fun. Julio Rodriguez is fun. They have a guy named Big Dumper. Like, if you're not – a fan of the Astros. You want Seattle to win for the most part. Yeah. They're they're that team. And this is the moment they want. You're up 7 to 3. You're you tagged Verlander. You're doing everything right. Everything is going well. And then this happens. I don't know how you can come back from that. Yeah, it's going to be tough. Framber Valdez game 2. We'll be back here for the workout tomorrow game 2 on Thursday afternoon at 2:35 and then the series will shift to Seattle. That's the latest game 1 in the books. 8-7 walk-off win by the Astros thanks to Jordan Alvarez. Ari Alexander, Randy McAvoy, we'll talk to you soon here on clicktohouston.com.